Today we're diving back into the world of copy fragrances and I've picked up another five bottle haul from the Essence Vault. These are all inspired by some of the most popular and well-known designer and niche fragrances so to find out which ones I've been tempted by and which ones I'd be most likely to recommend and stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. Yes, hello again and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. Today we have another long overdue haul from the Essence Vault to review, uh, and I actually purchased all of these bottles a few weeks ago now, but unfortunately I haven't been able to find the time to talk about them until now, so apologies to those of you who've been uh, waiting patiently for more Essence Vault content to arrive. And just before we find out what's made it into today's haul, uh, if you want to pick any of these bottles up to try out for yourself with a further 20% discount, pl uh, please feel free to uh, use my unique discount code at the checkout by either clicking on the link in the description or by using my unique discount code, which is just my name, Paul, and you'll uh, get you 20% off your order site-wide all year round. But at the same time they're recording this video, there is a code that gives you a massive 30% discount, which is thank you 30 uh, but if that one becomes invalid for any reason, my code will remain active all year round. They even do the occasional buy one and get one free deal, so from time to time uh, there is some really good deals to be had, so always good to uh, watch out for those. The, es the Essence Vault fragrances are all vegan friendly and cruelty free and come with uh, free shipping when you spend over £45. And I'll start by saying that this video is in no way sponsored by the Essence Vault and I'm not uh, being paid to promote their products in any way. I uh, also paid for all of these fragrances using my own money so you can definitely trust that these are my uh, unbiased opinions and if I don't like any of them I'll uh, definitely say so. Okay so the first one in today's haul is Essence Vault number 341 and this one's inspired by Oud Wood from the Tom Ford Private Blend Collection. And I've got to say that right from uh, the first spray of this one, literally the first second that you spray it, you will recognise the Oudwood scent profile that just comes straight through. And without testing this side by side with the original, I'd say it's very accurate and it would definitely uh, fool me into believing that it was the real deal. I'm sure most of you watching this video will be familiar with how oud wood smells uh, because it is such a distinctive aroma that's been uh, around for quite a while now. Uh, but if you haven't smelled it, it's, uh, it's obviously got the agar wood uh, being the most dominant note. So you do get a really dense woodiness. Uh, but there's also a touch of amber and tonka beans in here too. So it does sweeten things up ever so slightly. But like I say, I'm sure most of you uh, will now know exactly how oud wood smells. And if you don't, then make it your mission to uh, sample it in your nearest department store the next time you, you're out shopping uh, because it is one of the most alluring scents that you can wear, that you can wear especially uh, on a cool crisp day during uh, autumn and winter. The performance on this is really good and it's super strong at first but it just settled down fairly quickly with a, a moderate projection for maybe four to five hours before becoming uh, a, more of a skin scent. Uh, but I wanted to rev uh, start the, re like the review off with, uh, with a bit of a bang so this is one that I would definitely recommend that you add to your next Essence Vault order if you've not already tried it. Okay, so next up is obviously the one that I get asked about the most, and it's uh, number 200. Uh, which is the Essence Vault's interpretation of Creed Aventus. And I've got to say that in terms of accuracy, I don't think it's uh, quite there. And although it does remind me of Aventus, this isn't going to fool anyone into believing that you're wearing the original Creed version. Don't get me wrong, it does smell uh, pleasant enough as like a standalone scent, uh, and it's uh, really fresh and fruity, with maybe uh, a 30 to 40% nod to, to the original. But there's uh, not much of the woodiness or the intense smokiness that you can sometimes get in Aventus batches. And this one, uh, I would say, is uh, it's maybe not as quite as good as uh, like something like Armaf's Club de Nuit Intense Man or Afnan's uh, Supremacy, not only intense. So if, you want, if you're looking for the closest of replicas, I would recommend uh, either of those two over this one. But like I say, this is a really decent smelling scent that's perfect for this time of year uh, when the sun's out. So I, I might just give myself uh, a few 
few cheeky little sprays now just to help set myself up for the day uh, and in terms of performance this is uh, okay but again because it doesn't have much in the way of them uh, woody and smoky tones which provide the spine and the longevity of the original Aventus this does uh, lack some depth and staying power unfortunately you get a nice fresh blast of fruitiness in the opening but it's not a prominent pineapple or black currant like you get in the original and then once that's gone after about an hour or so you just get this kind of mild faint woodiness uh, so unfortunately it's not really one that I'd uh, strongly recommend as a, an Aventus alternative and probably the least accurate one that I've tested from the Essence Vault so far Having said that, I'll still wear it as a, as like a dumb, uh, dumb reach spray and go type scent for the summertime and it does smell really nice uh, but just maybe not a, a superb accurate clone to Aventus. Okay, next up we have Essence Vault number 431, which is inspired by the original Dior Fahrenheit EDT. This is a, a super masculine fragrance which opens up with citrus notes including mandarin orange, bergamot and lemon, but it quickly transitions into more of a dark resinous aroma once the violet leaf and the, uh, the leather start to make their way through from the base. And then you get uh, that famous petrol-like accord that Fahrenheit is really famous for. We've also got a prominent patchouli note, which only adds to the oily, pungent uh, aroma that you either, either love or you hate with this one. It's uh, definitely a polarising scent that isn't for everyone, but the Essence Vault have done an excellent job at replicating the iconic Fahrenheit scent DNA, uh, albeit a little bit less potent than the original, uh, and this one doesn't project or last quite as long as the original, but uh, you do definitely get a Fahrenheit experience, uh, unlike the Aventus copy that I've just spoken about. Okay, so moving swiftly on, and this next one is Essence Vault number 439. Uh, and this one is inspired by the original Armani Code EDT from back in 2004. It's an amber spicy fragrance which opens up with tart citrus notes including lemon and bergamot and then in the heart there's star anise, olive blossom and guayac wood and then in the base there's leather, tonka beans and tobacco. This is very accurate to the original and possibly the uh, most mass appealing and easy to wear one in today's haul. It's really clean and fresh, especially in the opening with loads of lemon that comes uh, off, like more like a fizzy lemon at first. And then as it dries down, it does sweeten up quite a bit, um, but maybe just not quite as much as uh, what the original Armani Code does. This stays fresh and bright and produces a clean shower gel type like aroma uh, so it's very versatile and it's one that you could wear all year round without a problem. The only issue I have with this one is that you can pick up any of the original Armani Code fragrances at reasonable prices so the savings that you make on this aren't quite as good as what you'd get if you bought copies of more expensive niche scents but having said that this is uh, still uh, a really good pick up and it's going to still cost you uh, at least half the price of the original so worth picking up if you're on, the, on a tight budget and you're just wanting uh, a really good all rounder. Okay, so my fifth and final recommendation today, also featured in my last Women's Essence Vault episode, but because it's very unisex and because uh, I think it's a fantastic copy, I've also included it in today's review, which is Essence Vault number 19, and this is inspired by Black Orchid by Tom Ford. And even though I personally really love how this smells, it's probably the most divisive smelling one out of today's list, with more of a polarising scent profile, uh, which which might not be for everybody and some guys might find it leans a little bit too feminine because of that dark floral aspect to it. But I think it smells uh, really expensive and luxurious and it produces a rich and full bodied aroma. It contains no less than 23 different fragrance notes but the most prominent ones in this are obviously the orchid and then uh, the sweet notes of truffle, Mexican chocolate and vanilla. So you basically get a really sweet indulgent aroma with a, a smooth velvety texture and just tops off with that floral orchid accord. You do also get a hint of spiciness with this one, with also a light smoky incense and it does have a, a definite nighttime quality to it. This is what I would wear if I was going to like a dressed up red carpet event or on a special date night when you want to really impress and uh, smell sophisticated. 
It's very classy and elegant, um, but it also makes a bold statement and will definitely get you noticed because it, it does have a, an extremely powerful projection and it lasts for a good seven hours on skins. So uh, I'd say it's one of the strongest performers out of these five that I'm uh, bringing you today. It's very sexy and would uh, suit a professional man, I'd say, in his 30s and above. And like I say, uh, this is not the safest blind buy, and you'll either love it or hate it, but I stand firmly in the uh, love it camp. I think the Essence Vault have done an absolutely uh, wonderful job with this one, they've nailed the accuracy, uh, and anyone who's familiar with how Black Orchid smells will be blown away with just how close this one is to the original, uh, and it's one that I would highly recommend that you pick up if you're uh, looking for something a little bit different in your next Essence Vault haul. Okay, so in summary, uh, the only one that I wouldn't really recommend out of these five today is probably the Aventus copy. It's not accurate at all, and I wouldn't recognise it if uh, if I didn't already know what it was. The Oudwood and the Black Orchid copies are my two favourites, with the Black Orchid maybe just edging out the Oudwood in terms of accuracy, and it'd probably fool me into believing that I was smelling the real thing if somebody walked past me wearing it in the street. Um, and I would also say it's probably the best performing one in today's list also. The Fahrenheit copy is decent enough and you'll definitely recognise what that's meant to be uh, but it's not quite got the blend quality of the original and it is uh, a very polarising uh, fragrance so it's kind of a bit of a gamble if you uh, were to blind buy that one. The Armani Code copy is the safest blind buy uh, but like I say you can uh, probably pick, it, pick up a bottle of the original at a really reasonable price but if not then it's definitely uh, a likeable fra fragrance with uh, nothing challenging in it whatsoever. Also don't forget um, all of these uh, fragrances that I've spoken about today are like ED, uh, Eau de Parfum concentrations uh, so they are pretty long lasting but there's also intense versions of all of these which come in the bottles with the uh, black labels if you are looking for the best quality. Okay, so that's about it for this latest episode, but don't forget to uh, also check out my other Essence Vault reviews, uh, which you can now find in a dedicated playlist on the homepage of my channel. And it also, if there's any uh, Essence Vault fragrances that you'd like me to review in future episodes, then uh, drop me a comment down in the comments section and let me know which one you're interested in. Uh, I hope you've had lots of fun discovering uh, some new signature scents perhaps and uh, if you have found this video useful then please don't forget to give it a like and also to subscribe to the channel. So once again thank you very much for tuning in today, stay safe, keep smelling fresh and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye bye for now.